Thanks for joining us in another Navnet 3D training video. I'm Jeff Kozlerik, your host for this video series. This video will be talking about how to install charts onto your Navnet 3D system. We'll cover several topics such as how to format an SD card, how to find your charts and download them off the internet, we'll talk about installing them onto the SD card, and finally taking that SD card and installing it onto your Navnet 3D system. So let's get started. I'm going to turn this over to Clayton Patterson. Thanks, Jeff. Today we're going to talk about installing Magnet 3D chart and satellite photo data on your Magnet 3D multi-function display. The Magnet 3D multi-function display, such as the black box here, comes pre-installed with a complete library of all U.S. vector and raster charts, the 3D data, and with at least one satellite photo region. All of the accessory chart data available for the Magnet 3D can be acquired through your local journal dealer. Either install them for you on your Navnet 3D machine or simply provide them to you on SD card. Florida USA also offers a USB hard drive, including all of these stuff on one drive. All of the accessory world chart packs, as well as the updates to the US chart library, are available online at www.florinousa.com. You will find direct links to both the world chart packs as well as the US chart updates. Downloading charts from our website is quite easy. From your favorite web browser, simply go to www.barunousa.com and click the Bruno USA logo. This will bring you to our home page. Next, hover over the product menu and a drop down menu will appear. Simply click on Navnet 3D and scroll down to the Map Media Charts and Satellite Photo Download section. This way, it breaks down the charts by the world region. If you're looking for U.S. or Canadian charts, you will click on North America. The next screen breaks down the region even further by country. Click on the country you desire. In this case, we're going to select USA. We're going to select the charts in the U.S. West Coast by clicking on the chart menu. The next page displays a brief overview of the charts with a sample of the coverage area and a description of what we received from the chart. To download the chart, we need to click on the link that says click here to download charts from batmedia.com. A new window will appear from the Mad Media website. When you scroll down, you will see the chart information and an outline of the chart area highlighted in blue. After verifying which is the chart that we want to download, you will now have the choice to download the 3D data from raster charts and stat photos. Here, we're going to click on view and download raster charts. At this point, another window should appear, showing the chart area that we've selected to download, highlighted in blue. Hover your mouse over the blue down arrow icon, and a pop up window will appear. To download the chart, simply click on the words Download Raster Chart. And a dialog box will appear asking you to either open, save, or cancel the download. Click on Save, and then specify where you want to save the chart. I'm going to select my desktop and then click save to begin the download process. You can repeat this process to download the 3D data and satellite photos. Now once the file has been downloaded, it's almost ready to go on the SD card. The only thing we have left to do now is unzip or uncompress the file. You can do this by right clicking on a folder that's been downloaded and selecting extract all. This will allow you to unzip the file. Now once the file has been unzipped, you don't want to change the file name in any way and discard the folder that it comes in. Now that the file has been extracted and removed from the folder that it came in, it's ready to go on the SD card. But we have to format the SD card first. To do so, insert the black SD card into your PC connected USB card reader. This can be purchased from any office supply store. Once the card is inserted, open the My Computer window, right click on the SD drive, and select Format. On the drop down menu. A second window will appear allowing you to change format type. Left click on File System and select Stack and click Start. And then OK on the confirmation window that appears next. Now that we've formatted our SD card, we're ready to copy our chart and stack photo file 
to the SD card using the simple copy and paste method. Since we've already removed our charter subfolder file from the folder that it was downloaded in, we're now ready to put it on the SD card. It should be on your desktop, unzipped, ready to go. All you have to do is right click on the file, select copy from the drop down menu, bring up the blank window for your SD card, right click on the center of the window, select paste from the drop down menu, and you will see your file appear in the blank window. At that point, it's saved to the SD card and ready to load on your own SD display.